Hey stylettes, today I'm going to be bringing you a classic hairstyle called the French Twist and this is my version of it. So I have some pieces in the front and then in the back is a little twist. So it looks just like that. And if you want to learn how to do the super easy hairdo, just stay tuned. Bye. Okay. So I'm starting off with my natural hair, or this is what it looks like when it dries during the day. I blow dry like the top a little so my part would stay and then I just let the air do its work. Um, so it's wavy and then if you want to flat iron it go ahead but I suggest staying with your natural hair or like without doing any heat or anything to it so you do as little damage as possible. And then like afterwards you can curl the ends or you can straighten them or you can even pin them back. Either way it looks really cute. So you might want to have a few bobby pins on hand. I have like four. I think I use like four or five throughout this whole thing. But that's just with my hair length. So, but I do have thick hair. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'll turn around so you can see, is take my hair like I would for a ponytail. Make sure it's um, rather high actually. And then smooth out the top. And then you're going to almost as if you would roll it in a roller, but you're going to kind of fold it into itself and then roll it, if that made any sense, but I'll show you. So like, you fold this part under, so it's like you're tucking your hair in, and then you're going to start rolling it this way. And then you just keep rolling it and rolling. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn around and check the front and make sure it's okay. See, like, I have a little bump right here. But you could always fix that. And then, yeah, see, like, this little bump. We'll fix that then. You're going to take your bobby pin, and then the back is going to look like my hair is falling out. But you're just going to want to pin it, like starting from top to bottom so it comes out a lot nicer. So I'll show you. And then you're going to take the bobby pin like this and then put it in and then flip it into itself. Like this. Or you can just shove it in this way, whichever works for you. And then you just keep rolling it. See, sometimes you get like this little bump going on, and you could either tease that to make it into like a little pompadour, or you could pin it down. So, again, with the bobby pin, I like to do mine like this, and then flip it in that way. And then, towards the end, you want to like tuck this in that way and then just roll it all up. Kind of like a little taco burrito thing. Okay, so you can see I have like this little bump going on. Not cute <laughs> at all. So I'm going to tuck that this way into the roll and then pin it back. Okay, so I have most of it pinned down. And then I'm going to take out a few little pieces of hair. And you could either like pin it all back and make it like this. See, it looks super nice all the way pinned back. So you have like this really cute little, I don't know if any pieces are sticking up. Hold on. So you have this cute little pin back look. Or, you can take it out and leave it natural or straight. 
Or what I'm going to do is take my handy dandy little heating glove and my curler and then curl the excess pieces for a really cute romantic look that's great for spring or like you could even use it for prom or any formal event that you're going to or Valentine's Day is perfect since it's on Monday so it's really really cute and super easy so basically you just fold your hair in and then you keep rolling it and rolling it and then tucking or pinning it back with the bobby pins and if it keeps falling out just shove some more bobby pins in there make it work <laughs> so that is my look that likes to keep popping up right now <laughs> let me just fix that so there is your french twist have fun with it stylets i'll see you soon bye